it's Mickey with Motion Restoration. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do self-massage if you're suffering from swelling in the hands or edema in the hands. So first thing you're going to grab is some coconut oil or lotion that has a good amount of glidability to it. And then get yourself in a shirt that has access into the shoulder or both shoulders if you have both hands that are affected. So first time doing this, I'm gonna show you sitting up, but actually the best way to do this massage is lying on your back with your arms in the air. That really helps to drain everything towards the heart. That'll help your swelling to decrease faster. But for this, I'm just gonna show you sitting up. So we have our lotion and we're just gonna be putting it on the whole arm all the way up into the shoulder. more so we're just putting lotion on throughout the entire arm so front uh, sorry the top and then the bottom so first place that we're going to start with is actually in the shoulder now in here in our armpit we actually have lymph nodes those lymph nodes are like little garbage disposals. So they go through the system and they will take things out that are bad. Now, a lot of the times our lymph system can become blocked. So we have to, in a sense, activate it or wake it up. So easiest way to do that is in the armpit. All you're gonna do is just do light circles in the armpit. So all throughout into the armpit, you're just doing light circles. You're not going too deep because you can actually rupture your lymph nodes. So nice and light into the armpit, just activating, just waking up. And then we're gonna start with the shoulder. So all we're doing with that is just squeezing. So I'm just taking my hands and squeezing in the deltoid. Up. Again, we're just opening up the channels to help the swelling to decrease. So it would be no difference if you're laying on your back and your arm is in the air. I just want you to massage into the shoulder. Then we're going to go into the bicep, same thing. We're just squeezing, picking up. There's not really a lot of point specific when it comes to swelling because we're not really talking about point specific pain. So we're just opening up the bicep. You can also take the edge of your thumb and just push that up. all throughout the bicep and then same thing into tricep just pinching and pulling it up just like so same thing you can also take the edge of your fingers and just push all towards the armpit like so and then, so everything, if you notice, everything is going upwards. I'm not pushing down because that, and we're going to pull that swelling even more. So we want to push everything up. So then we're going to go into the forearms. So we're going to be pulling up in the forearms all the way up and then work your way across the forearms. It's a lot easier if you do use kind of the thumbs and just push up but the easiest way to go is to actually use your other forearm so you're just going to press down on that forearm and all the way up so this is much easier it'll save your hands especially if you are suffering from swelling in both hands so you're just working your way across the flexors and then we're going to turn our hand over and we're going to go so if you're using your thumb, all you're going to do is just pull up all the way up. So same thing. We're just pulling all the swelling towards the armpit. Again, if it's too difficult for you, use your forearm just like so. All right. So even just doing that, you might notice like, okay, things are feeling a little bit lighter. So then we're going to work our way into the hand. So we're going to start palm up first. What I want you to do is you're going to go into where the base of the thumb is and you're just going to do nice circles in the thumb. 
into the palm, to the outer portion of the hand. So we're opening up the hand, just like so. So nice circular motions. And then work your way into the middle. So right now I'm tracing along the bones that are in the hand. So I'm just finding where the bone is and then you just go in between, nice fleshy part. So I'm just going in the fleshy parts. And it's just going into nice circles. Work your way up to the knuckles. Just like so. So again, we're just opening up all of the channels to make sure that there's no blockages that are happening in our hands. And then into, of course, the base of that thumb as well. Nice circles. Then we're gonna go into, this is called our thenar web. So this is the webbing in between your thumb and first finger and I'm just pinching in between and I'm pulling towards the thumb. And then you're gonna do the same thing and you're gonna go along the bone of that first digit or your index finger, just pinching on both sides towards the index finger, just like so. And then we're gonna go into the fingers and the thumb. So for that, all you're gonna do is just grab and you're going to pull and twist. So keeping a good consistent pressure as we pull and twist going through each of the fingers, pull and twist, pull and twist, work our way through. Work your way through all the fingers and then next we're going to go the opposite. So we are actually going to jam the finger in and twist. Finger in and twist. Finger in twist. So not too hard. This is your own pain tolerance. So in and twist. Then we're going to go on to the little digits. So we're going to go into our other joints that are in the fingers as well. So for that we're just going to do light little circles. So I'm just reinforcing holding the joint down as I'm going through them. Just little oscillating movements through. Pinky's always a tough one. Each of the joints. And then what we're going to do is pull each of the fingers down and flush up. So work your way through each of the fingers following down, flush up all the way throughout the hand. All right, and then last, what we're gonna do is you're gonna do the entire hand and all we're doing is you're basically making a nice um, grip with your hand and you're just pushing everything, squeezing it all as tight as you can go up into that armpit. So doing this, this is going to be the big thing that's going to help with that swelling. So by doing this at least 10 to 15 times, nice and slow will help to get rid of the swelling in those hands all the way up. So keep doing this at least 10 to 15 times. That'll help with the swelling in the hands. So that was just a very quick video to show you how you can help to decrease the swelling that's in your hands. Again, I showed you just sitting up, which is a great way to help out. But if you don't get the hands above the heart, a lot of the times the swelling just comes back. So by doing this massage, laying on your back or having your arm be slightly elevated above your heart and then doing the massage that way, That'll help the swelling a lot more. So I wish you best of luck with your edema and the swelling in your hands. And don't forget to do both sides if it's affecting you. 10 to 15 minutes, that'll help you out. I wish you the best of luck and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.